Losing that extra hour really sets me back for my day and messes up my schedule. For many, March 10th marks the day when we lose an hour of sleep. However, with the passing of Proposition 7, we may see an extra hour of sleep in our near future. In November of 2018, Proposition 7 establishing permanent daylight savings passed with a majority of 59.75%. I've never taken much thought to it. It's just something that's happened and it happens. Oh, okay, change my watch. I guess it's the only inconvenience is I got to change my watch. Some UC Berkeley students feel year-round daylight savings will improve their emotional well-being. Waking up at 6 o'clock to get to school at 7 o'clock where the sun hasn't even risen is honestly a toll on students' mental health and I guess workers' mental health as well. Seasonal depression, especially here at Cal, since it's super gloomy all the time, I mean, it definitely takes a toll on people's mental health. So I think that it'll be a good thing. Other students feel the switch is unnecessary and prefer our current system. I kind of like the system we have right now because I feel like it incentivizes, like it's something to look forward to in the spring. Personally, I didn't vote for it because I thought it was going to be dumb to be off from the rest of the United States. Although it may take time, UC Berkeley students are hopeful that state legislatures will work with the people's best interests in mind. Well, if they haven't started drafting like a bill yet, I think they should. Um, I think they should work toward like actually implementing this. For Cal TV, I'm Amreen Singh.